What's up, YouTube? On my way to uh, Sacramento, leaving Oakland, California. Easy night. Real easy. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is... You don't got to see me. As long as you hear me, that's all that matter. As long as you hear me out. I want to talk to you guys about when a child is born. Okay? When a child is born, that child gonna be born regardless. Whether it's by you or somebody else. So if you get an abortion and that child's supposed to be here, oh, they will be here. But they will be here through someone else. They might just be a different gender or a different race. But they're going to be here. So I'm saying that to say this. When that child is born, when a child is born, that child really does not belong to you. Yeah, you had the child. Yeah, you take care of the child to grow up to be an amazing person. But that child does not belongs to you. That child belongs to God. You belong to God. But we don't know God. Okay, we say God, but we don't even know if that's the real name. You know, it's probably a different name. It's probably, you know, something totally different of what we imagine. It's beyond our imagination. We can say this, we can say that. We can say what we think, but it's beyond our imagination. We imagine a lot of things, but God, you cannot imagine that. It's just beyond our, when you when you see him, it's gonna be beyond what you would ever think of or thought of. You understand? So when a child passed away, people fall down on the floor. Oh my baby, my baby, that child did not belong to you. That child had a specifically date. You're gonna be here this day and you're gonna leave this day. I don't care if it's two years. I don't care if it's 92 years. At the end of the day, that child does not belong to you. That child was put here to do the purpose or the duties of what God want them to do. But that person had to come out in physical form through you. child lose their life your child I don't know how they feel it's hurtful because you, you go you grow attached to them and when you have a baby you already attach while you're pregnant or the guy already attached after you had a baby you in the hospital you already attached to that child so imagine having a baby and soon as you had a baby you give it up to ado for adoption anything happen to that child is I mean, you're not going to know. You're not going to be attached to the child. You're really, you going to think about it probably every once in a while. But you're not going to trip. Only reason you trip because you grew attached to that child. You there, you know, since day one. That's why you trip when that child passes away. But that child does not belong to you. So when they pass away... Or you pass away, I don't know, but what I'm trying to say, when your child pass away, Lord forbid, or even as an adult, and they pass away, you know, don't go in depressed mode, don't be too negative, you know, because that child didn't belong to you in the first place, so you got to understand, okay, I'm here, God chose me to be your mother. And God chose me to be your father. So I'm going to do the duties of a mother and a father and take care of you so you will venture off. But if something happened to you, in return, I need to know and I will know and I do accept that you are in a better place. You are where God wants you to be. You're only with me. 
just for the moment. You only with me temporarily. You're not gonna be with me forever. And I'm not gonna be with you forever in a physical form. So just as easy as you accept the child, you need to let the child go when it's their time. So when, if you're pregnant, it's your first child, just remember, I, I accept this child, I take care of this child, I'm happy, your, every child is a blessing, and I'm blessed to be your mother. But when it's your time to go, I will let you go if you happen to go before me. And if it's my time to go, you need to understand and you need to let me go and be where I need to be. That's not in this physical form. I just want to put that out there, you know. I know what you know. I, I just... Hold on, let me take this charger off. I don't know, man. I just don't want... I wouldn't want to be in a situation to lose a child. But I don't want people who lost a child be all messed up, like, down. You know, like, I lost a child. And I don't know what to do. And I'm lost. You're not lost. Like, let that child be. You will see that child again. You will. I mean, I just want to put that out there. I'm at work right now. You guys have any questions any comments i don't even care if you talk stuff like leave it below i don't care what you say i'm not a sensitive person i do my job i make my money and i dream a lot because god talks to me a lot through my dreams and it's real everybody have a blessed day and I speak my mind, I say whatever's on my mind, whether it's good or bad, whether it, well, whether you agree with it or not, I'm, I don't bite my tongue. I say whatever's on my mind. If you like it, you like it, you don't, you don't.